Welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to Art at Bay, uh, brought to you by the folks at Staten Island Creative Community. Um, our exhibit this month is entitled Photons and Pigments, owing to both the photographers and the painters in the show. the saturation and contrast and the colors to really make them pop. I can show you some before and after to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. But, um my eye at the moment is what I take pictures of and that's I don't know what else to say about that but that's what this collection is I'm not a schooled artist but I've had a passion for photography for many many years and my first show I'm stoked but that's, that's just whatever catches my eye Right. 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 Are these local places or do you go over? Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. Friend's house upstate, self portrait. This one was a mistake and I love it. Because it's a tree at Snug Harbor. The tree is at Snug Harbor and the background is in Santa Cruz, California. My brother lived on 135 acres of land and that was his yard. So, I know that tree, that's the root. The, root. the, the huge roots mm -hmm. and the big, big tree, Snow Carver. It was like a double exposure. Yeah, total mistake. I totally shot over at the first roll, not even realizing it, but, but I liked it. And these two are at Fort Wadsworth.
in the show for me. Uh, I call it Lost Love. Uh, he, he are definitely uh, like Enza figures. These are mine and that face is mine that I developed. This one, I got something really good here. I call it well because uh, that changed the title. This is what I got from this. I've painted him with a circus behind him on a screen like this that folds. This started a couple of years ago, almost three years ago when uh, we were at Snug Harbor, a lot of studio artists, and we felt like our, ex our chances for exhibition were diminishing. And more and more young people that I met in St. George had no place to show. We had no venues. So we started, I just started asking real estate people, could you give us venues? And it grew like Topsy, I think because there's a really legitimate need in the community, and it's growing in creativity. There's been a 30% increase in young people from 18 to 30 in one year. And that's a big jump on the North Shore here in St. George. Uh, so tonight we have our opening. Next Sunday we have a reading. Uh, they're all published people. We had one last, last month and this month. So every Sunday, the second Sunday, will be literary readings. What is this? Mountain Goat. 